What's going on, everybody? This is Brian Mazika Fike, guys, and also a Forbes contributor. Today, I'm going to talk to you again about Manny Pacquiao, Keith Thurman. This fight is building quite nicely. When it was first signed and first discussed, I was like, oh, okay, it's a pretty good fight. Definitely a pay-per-view fight. But now, as the build-up continues, and we keep seeing more and more public appearances by both fighters, it's getting to the point where it is like the hottest summer boxing ticket so far on the schedule. I'm excited about it. And I don't think that Pacquiao is going to have any problem finding motivation when he climbs in the ring with Keith Thurman. And this is beyond the fact that he has an opportunity to unify the WBA world to weight titles. This is about having something to prove for Pacquiao at this point. He's 40 years old facing a 30 year old champion who is the super world welterweight champion while Pacquiao is the regular welterweight champion and Thurman has been getting under Pacquiao's skin of late and that's not something that seems to be very easy to do I mean I don't know if you saw leading up to the January fight with Adrian Broner somebody who generally talks a lot of trash he didn't get to Pacquiao. It was like Pacquiao laughed him off and kind of shut it down pretty quickly uh, throughout that whole entire build. But there's something about the way that Keith Thurman is doing it that seems to be a little unsettling to Pacquiao. So if you didn't see the interview that we did here on our channel, we did an interview with, with Keith Thurman, and Thurman didn't pull any punches. I mean, he was being, for the most part, fairly respectful, but he was definitely taking shots. He said that Pacquiao is not a technician. He said he is also not a true welterweight. He also called out Pacquiao's tendency to lunge in when he's fighting, basically the shorter guy trying to cover distance. If you saw the interview he did on Speak for Yourself on FS1, you saw him with Jason Whitlock and with Marcellus Wiley, and he reiterated that he is he plans on retiring Manny Pacquiao drew the reference to how Pacquiao retired Oscar De La Hoya and said he was going to be essentially role reversal he's going to do the same thing to Pacquiao and if you watch Manny's disposition during the, some of these interviews if you saw him on premier boxing champions a show on fox where he's sitting there and he's with sean porter and the you know and they're going back and forth and they're talking and they're asking these different questions and you know keith keith has the gift of gab a little bit every once in a while he says something that's you know you kind of don't get or whatever but for the most part he's got the gift of gab he's very um you're very sharp, a very good boxing mind, and he knows how to break things down technically. But he's also got just a little bit of the swag enough to kind of poke fun at a guy to be somewhat uh, effective from a trash talking standpoint, especially against somebody or a matched against a guy like Pacquiao, who that's totally not his thing. Pacquiao says on the uh, PBC show, he says, talking's not my thing. I do my I show my action in the ring with my hands. And if you just just watch his demeanor in those in those situations, he's not feeling this. What's going on? He's not feeling it. And there was a quote that was put up on the screen during the PBC show where Pacquiao strength and conditioning coach Justin Fortune says that Keith Thurman has pissed Pacquiao off. He says he wants to knock him out. Freddie Roach said that he expects for Freddie Roach, uh, Pacquiao's longtime trainer, he expects for Manny to knock Thurman out. The thing is, I'm not sure if that's not what Keith Thurman really wants. I, I, I'm, I think he's almost laying a trap. Now, whether or not he can spring the trap that he's trying to lay is another question. But it seems as though he wants Pacquiao to come looking for the knockout so that he can use his length and youth and quickness to counterpunch effectively. I think everybody remembers Pacquiao running into the most perfect straight right hand maybe thrown in the last 20 years in boxing when he was knocked out cold by Juan Manuel Marquez in their fourth fight. So it seems like a sound strategy for Thurman. So while I have all the respect in the world for Pacquiao's ability, even at 40 years old, I got to stick to the concept that I came up, that I came to when this whole fight was discussed. I think it's a lot. The 10-year age gap, the length advantage, and edge and punching power, 
all of that, I think, is on Thurman's side. I think it's too much for Pacquiao to overcome. But then again, these comments and the things that I'm saying might only be just the latest piece of bulletin board material for Pacquiao as he is just building up. I mean, if you, you get an opportunity to look at him during training camp, he looks like he is getting in as great a fighting shape as it is physically possible for him to get into at this age with all of the different responsibilities that he has. You know, if you love boxing and you don't love Manny Pacquiao, I think you really probably need to examine something about yourself. There's really nothing about Manny Pacquiao to dislike. There really isn't. I mean, I don't know what you would point to. But that doesn't mean that you have to think he's going to beat Keith Thurman. And right now, I don't think he's going to beat Keith Thurman. But I am so intrigued to watch and see what happens. So I'm looking forward to that fight. Hopefully you are. I want to know in the comment section, what are you thinking? Do you think, am I the only one that's, that it seems like Pacquiao's getting pissed? A a a am I alone in that? Tell me, do you see that? What do you think about Thurman's approach? Do you think it's a smart way for him to attack this? I mean, he's going against an all-time great. He's going against a Hall of Famer who can still fight, can still fight, may not have the punching power and the finishing that he had all throughout his career, but Pacquiao can still fight. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Also, if you have not yet subscribed, please do so. Uh, click that notifications bell as well and like the video. I appreciate you watching. God bless and peace.